Hey everybody, this is Harry Nature welcoming you back to Let's Play Croc Legend of the Gobos. In the last episode, we entered level 5 in the first world, and in this level, we're probably gonna beat the boss because it won't take me a whole long time. I messed that up. That's not what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to get this balloon because there's a blue gem over here. And I don't wanna pass that. If I sound really weird, it's because I'm recovering from a cold. Like right after my Ocarina of Time uh, recordings li last weekend, my um, my tonsils were, got really swollen and I could barely even talk. I was talking like this, and I'm pretty sure you guys don't want me to uh, talk like this all the time. So that's why I uh, didn't record my Croc stuff. Because I actually wanted to do that, but... Because I really love this game, even though it's a side LP. I think I should update this more often. Then again, I have to, uh... I need a let's play that I can, uh... Stupid phone, shut up. I need a let's play that I can do, like, in between Ocarina of Time and my summer LP. Because I know Ocarina of Time will be finished in, like, two or three weeks. And, uh, my summer break don't doesn't start uh, until, like, um... Yeah, that, that takes at least, um... A whole month. Because there's stuff to be done. And I don't really like that, but yeah, it, it has to be done. Ah, another go right here, that's five. So let's uh, enter this bonus area now. So now we can climb the climb those boxes and you can't really see it, but Stop pressing the wrong button, man. Press up to, um, to climb on top of those, not X. There's a key down there, you can, uh, I think you saw that. I'm not going back to those chests because I can't really be bothered. I would only waste my time and I don't feel like doing that now. Darkness Descends, sixth level of the first world and probably my favorite one. I'm kind of rushing through the game now. Uh, that's not really what I want to do because. Uh, th this this one, like Ocarina of Time is a really, um, oh don't die now, Ocarina of Time is a really walkthrough like um, LP of mine, but this one should be a little more casual, I want it to be a little more casual, no cutting, no, uh, like no cutting out failures at least, oh, oh don't die now, there's only uh, a couple of normal gems in those in the box on the other side of this, like uh, over there, I'm not gonna mess with it. I really like this level. Uh, also, the the, um, the background it's really nice. And here we have another one of those mini games, the moving uh, moving box. It's not really that hard to do because as soon as soon as it hits the wall, it goes the other way, so you can jump on top of it. And once you get the hang of it, it's a really really easy mini game. So now we can. Uh, Go to the other side of this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm taking hits left and right. Surprisingly enough, I uh, I haven't died yet in this uh, recording. I shouldn't say that because this is actually uh, actually take three. I failed miserably last two takes. This area with the rafts is not really that bad. It's a pretty easy um, area. But wait until you see what they do with those rafts in the later ones. Especially World 4. Because I think I already mentioned it, but World 4 is like... There's a whole lot of crazy, crazy stuff in there. And if there's something that you want to save your lives for, it's definitely World 4. Anyway, that's three. And there should be two more Gobos in this last area. And this is where I actually got stuck as a kid because I didn't know you can climb those. Because you can get, uh, you can get to this place without knowing how to climb. Because the game doesn't actually require you to climb until, uh, until like right now. So, oh, having some uh, frame rate drops there. And again. It's it's like doing that for the third time now, or like right at that point. Maybe you just can't handle uh, can't handle the graphics on the screen. I don't know, because this area looks pretty amazing if you uh, look down from here. Yeah, that that's make that's definitely making it lag. 
Okay, so that's five, and we also have five Gobos, so let's enter this area now. Uh, let's go into the water, because of course we're a crocodile, so we can swim. And um, those water segments, I don't really like them, because the controls are really weird on this. You basically press X to swim uh, to swim forward, and then you use the D-pad or your analog stick to uh, to like turn. But it's like it, it never turns the way I want it to turn. There's a gobo there. You can also use this move uh, on the water, which is uh, which is somewhat useful. But I prefer swimming straight forward. I don't know why. Don't really use that move on the water that much. I don't really use that move at all, actually. I should be, uh, I should be doing that like way more than I do right now because it's really useful, and I just, I always forget that I have that move. Okay, so we are done with this. Uh, I think. Yeah, well, we're done with this. Let's stop wasting time. And we got another, another life because we got a hundred gems. Yay for that. Fight Night with Flibby. It's our next level and that's the second boss level. And it looks like our next boss is gonna be a ladybug. <laughs> hey, you do that evil laugh. He doesn't look really threatening and believe me he, he isn't so... It shouldn't be that big of a deal. Of course, I failed at that boss, like, um, in the last recording. Something that's really weird about these moving platforms, and that might be something you, uh, might have to get useful when you start playing this game. You already start getting momentum when you're over the platform, instead of when you're, uh, on top of the platform. You might be able to see that, like when I'm jumping on the platform. I start getting momentum before I land on it. It's really weird. Uh, guy's gonna hit me, unless I do that. Okay, we're almost up to the boss, and I have like four minutes left to fight that guy, so... It shouldn't be that hard. I'm not gonna mess with those boxes, because I'm probably gonna lose that, those gems. The boss. Even though it's really easy, I'm probably gonna fail at this, because of the Let's Play curse. Like, I, I did in the last, uh, in the last take, so... Yeah, you might um, you might want to run uh, run in circles around him until he starts uh, punching you, and that's your chance to hit him, and then uh, use your stomp attack on him. You do that three times, and then he's done. You will uh, you will start doing some different attacks like that one, and then he goes back to his uh, normal punch attack, and you can hit him again and do your stomp attack. Well, if you can get on top of him. And now he has that move, I, uh, when he tries to uh, punch the hell out of you, but of course, he can do that because I'm far away. Ooh, I almost got hit by that. That would have been bad. Now I'm doing this on the first try, like I, I, I failed miserably in this first take. I lost, I lost all of my gems and then after that I lost uh, six lives, so... Three lives, yay for that. Uh, three gems I mean, not three lives. God. So we beat the f boss of the first world. And now we can enter the second bonus level, which will be the Twisty Tunnels. And I can actually go to World 2, but that will be spoiler, so I'm not doing that right now. First I'll uh, finish this bonus level before I show you World 2. World 2 is a pretty cool place and it has, uh, probably has the best music in the game, so... Be looking forward to that. Because I am, that's for sure. I probably don't have time to finish this one. You'll be carrying around that uh, that gold that gold yeah gold keys. That I can't talk properly. You'll be carrying around that gold key for like uh, the entire level because there's another locked door at the end where the jigsaw piece is like it was in the first bonus level. 
And that's where you want to take the key. That that uh, area with the locked door isn't really that tedious as the first one because you, it can be done pretty fast. You don't have to wait for the platforms to go all the way around. I'm up to 10:30 on the recording. I should uh, I should like stop right here. Well, I want to get out of this area first before I do so. So it seems I probably can't. Well, maybe I can. So that's it for wow. We're up to the end already. That's it for today, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Wow, what a weird way to end the video.